grinding for this game and he know what it takes. But everything in life is a grind. You know, the mantra, the mantra on the back of these black shirts, you know what I mean, it's true. Adversity won't stop me. And I had a chance not to just say it and put it on a shirt, but live it. You know what I'm saying? Like you talking, you talking to, I mean, a man is talking to you who was homeless. You know what I'm saying? Lived in the Salvation Army shelters. You know, went to Syracuse, almost got kicked out and fought my way to start, fought my way in the hardest. I came in this game like, bam, an undrafted free agent. You know what I'm saying? Grinding, grinding, but I wanted it better than everybody else. I made those sacrifices he talked about. In high school, a story that I really never gave anyone. In high school, I wasn't the best student. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't the best student in the world, but I got something that everybody else didn't get because when they was partying on Saturdays and chilling, I was going to Saturday school. Most of them may even know I was going to Saturday school. Why was I going? Because I needed to get my grades up. Because to get to my dream, I had to sacrifice something. I had to sacrifice chilling. I had to sacrifice being with the girls. I had to sacrifice being the most popular person in the school. It didn't matter to me because at the end of the day, I'm standing right here because I sacrificed. And adversity never stopped me. I say adversity never stopped me. But it can't. You know, I went undrafted. I was supposed to get drafted, all that hoopla, whatever. Come into the Baltimore Ravens. It's 18 linebackers. It's impossible. They say, Jamil, it's impossible. Why would you pick them? They only gave you $500 to sign. The other team offered you 20 How did you choose that one? I chose the Ravens because it's a better organization. It fit me. It was perfect. And I believed in myself. Another important part, always believe in self. Always believe in yourself. Never let somebody tell you you can't do it. You a big man, you want to play fullback, don't let nobody tell you you can't. It's your world, you know what I'm saying? You a DB, you want to be a corner, but they think you a safety? Go hard at it. Don't let nobody determine where you are because your dreams only rely on you. It's like they always say, you only have to look in the mirror to see the reason why you're successful or why you fail. All you have to do is look in the mirror to see all of that. Everybody, you all got those stories of the people that's like, the coach jerked me over. I never got a chance. You know what I mean? Like, this person didn't like me. The math teacher is the reason why I didn't get it. Sometimes there are bad people in life, but you got to overcome them by grinding harder. It, I'm, I'm not making it sound like it's easy, but it's just what you have to do. You got to push because at the end of all of that, when you 30 and you didn't make it D1 and you didn't get a shot, you didn't get a second chance, like, bam. All you gonna say is, man, they jerked me, or I could've went harder, I should've went harder. Take that out of your vocabulary. Just go as hard as you can now. What's these 18 years? I mean, what's this 10 years gonna do? What's this time gonna do to you to put in more time, to put in more work, to dedicate yourself, to understand that if you want this, how many, how many on here got a dream, man? Raise your hand if you got a dream, if you got something that you wanna accomplish. How many in your here, how many of y'all in here ever been told no? Anybody in here ever been told no? I got this man named Les Brown. Y'all can put your hands down. He's a, he's a phenomenal motivational speaker. And he says, make no your vitamin. Make no your vitamin. I mean, it's realistic. Les Brown got told no all of the time. But what he do, he took, he took it as a vitamin. I seen some people out there that failed today and they put their head down. You got beat. Whatever, bro. Get up. You know what I mean? It's going to be another play. Drop it off. You failed the test. You got a chance to make this next test better. You missed the time for the interview, the next time you go to your next interview, make sure you're on time, make sure you dress proper. It's always gonna be another opportunity, but don't fall. Don't fall, so I say, so I come into Baltimore, I grind my hardest, I work, I work, I work. I'm fortunate enough that I get a chance to, I make the team and I start, you know what I'm saying? I ended up playing eight years, eight years in the NFL, you know what I mean, blessed to do it, but I had this big injury, you know what I mean? Like, we, we, we gonna go back, I mean, like I say, homeless, grow up in North Philly, fight. You know what I mean? Like, Scepter went on strike. We gotta, I had to walk, like literally to get to middle school, I had to walk like five, eight miles, you know what I'm saying? Like just to get to school for about three weeks. That's dedication, you know what I mean? That's being committed to what you want. And that's just school, that's just middle school. You just going to middle school, like why is it that serious? So that's dedication. Homelessness, fighting past that, that's dedication. Shout out to my mom for getting us out of it, you know what I mean? Fighting past that, fighting past getting in Syracuse and having a coach that I thought didn't like me, but I didn't blame it on him. All I did was look at myself every day because it was something that he was seeing that I wasn't seeing. He may have been he may have been the worst person in the world and it don't matter to me if he was the worst or the best. The only thing that mattered was 
I wasn't going to leave Syracuse with the idea that I let somebody hold me back. And that's how you should live your life. So we fight through Syracuse. We get to the Ravens. We get on there. We play. Boom. We fight. Ah, I'm at the, I'm at the top. I'm at the top. You know, Ray is about to retire. They like Jamil. He about to take over. He's the next linebacker. God, he bring me down. He give me a spinal cord injury. They say his career over. Career threatening. He's done. He's got to retire right now. I go in to see a doctor. The doctor says, the doctor says, um, Jamil, you know, uh, you're like a dog. You got ticks and you got fleas. You know what I mean? Like you just, you just don't got it. Like I hope you saved up all of your money and you were smarter than the rest of these, rest of these players. I look at the doctor and I'm like, bro, you don't, you don't know me. You don't know what I've been through. You know what I'm saying? You ain't, you ain't walk five, eight miles to go to school. You ain't grind to get through this. You ain't. You wasn't in the Salvation Army. You wasn't in the shelter tucking your clothes so nobody would steal it. Like, you don't know me. So I, I tell them that and I come back. I see 13 doctors in the span of 11 months, 13 to 14 doctors. Out of all of those doctors, only two people said, yes, make no your vitamin. You gotta make it your vitamin. They are gonna tell you no, but you gotta believe. You know what I mean? Y'all get what I'm saying? You gotta believe in it. And it's gotta be you that's pushing in it. So boom, two doctors tell me yes, that was all I needed come back everybody is a Ravens Steelers fan so Ravens I'm not Ravens Steelers but everybody knows the Ravens Steelers rivalry it's one of the most intense games right to go in so I come back 11 months I play in this game in three days three days is all I practiced in 11 months never touched the football field played the entire game how at the end of the game players give me a standing ovation like yo this is ridiculous like how did you do it I'm like bro while y'all was out there practicing I was training in a bubble in the dark. I was by myself. I was grinding, believing in myself. Coaches were saying, yeah, you can do it. You got it, Jamil. And they walk away and be like, he don't got a shot. This is crazy. You know what I mean? Like, how's he going to do it? How did I do it? Because I believe. It's true, man. I'm not, I'm not, I, I say I'm, I'm qualified to tell you about this because I lived it. I'm qualified to tell you about this because I've seen people do it. I've been pushed. I know how to get there, you know what I mean? And I need to give these tips to y'all. So we push through, we fight. I go through everything, I play another year with the Ravens, then I play with the Giants, then I re-aggravate that neck again. Say, shut it down. No one is time, man. But ultimately, man, we, we used that word, we used the word in the beginning, and the word was, what was the word we used it earlier? Finish. What was the word we used earlier? Finish. I know we know better than that. What was the word? Finish. It was finish, man. Finish everything you do, man. I, I promise you, if you don't get nothing out of this, if you don't get nothing, finish. You have to. It's impossible. What's, what's the point? The finish line is right here and you stop. What did you put in all of that time for? What did you do? Why? You wasting it. Finish. Just step across it. It's not even just the line, man. It's school. It's class. It's finish your relationships, man. Treat people right. Character award is so important to me because the way you treat people allows this to happen for free. The way you treat people is important, man. Finish everything you do. Hold on to it. Like I'm, I'm telling you, it ain't gonna be no, it ain't gonna be nothing better than that, man. Finish the time. You gonna be tired. Like you ain't gonna want to study. You ain't gonna want to put in the extra work. But complete it. So either way, man. Without me, without me trying to go in and preach to y'all, you know, first. I thank y'all for coming. I thank y'all for enjoying this time and letting me give a piece of myself and y'all sharing a piece of y'all selves with me. You know what I mean? And with all of us. So thank y'all so much. Clap it up and everybody. Thank you for the parents coming. Thank you for everybody that put this together and made it possible. So I'm going to pass the mic back off to Julie, but thanks.